Welcome to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute training video, PowerMax 0-30 Fault Code. This video will help you be able to identify the symptoms of a 0-30 error for the PowerMax product line, as well as where to locate the fault code from the status screen or the fault icon on the front of the machine. We'll discuss the most common solutions to this fault code. With PowerMax systems, interruptions may occur while cutting. To quickly return to your normal cutting operation, it's important to identify the symptoms of cutting failures and the location of the fault code. Always check the status screen on the front panel for loss of power or fault codes. For more information on fault codes, please reference the corresponding PowerMax operator manual. Locate your physical copy of the operator manual that came with the system or access a digital copy online at hypertherm.com. Use the Maintenance and Troubleshooting section of your manual to assist in your efforts. Using your manual, locate the 0-30 fault code on the table or find the symptoms being experienced. Typical symptoms of a 0-30 fault include the torch not firing. There are two types of 0-30 errors. The 0-30-0 is an indication of a torch stuck open fault, where the nozzle and electrode are not touching after the trigger is pulled. A 0-30-1 is a torch stuck closed fault, where the nozzle and electrode will not separate after the trigger is pulled. PowerMax systems will display these error codes differently. For lower amperage machines, such as the PowerMax 30 Air, 30 XP, or 45 XP, a blinking torch cap LED on the front of the machine indicates a 0-30 error. A slow blink is a torch stuck open fault. A fast blink is a torch stuck closed fault. For higher amperage machines, such as the PowerMax 65, 85, 105, or 125, the 0-30 error will appear on the status screen located on the front of the system. To determine which type of 0-30 error, access the service screen by holding down the automatic manual pressure setting mode selector and the current gas selector buttons for two seconds. Once the service screen is open, you'll find the complete fault code, either 0-30-0 or 0-30-1. To resolve the 0-30 error, begin by turning the power supply off. Remove the consumables and confirm that they were properly installed. Inspect and replace the consumables if you find damage or excessive wear. Also, inspect the torch for any signs of damage or pitting on the electrode contact surface. Once the consumables have been properly inspected and installed, turn the system back on. This should clear the error code from the screen. If the 0-30 fault code still appears and the consumables were properly installed, then the torch or power supply may be damaged. Contact your hypertherm distributor or authorized repair facility with the full 0-30 fault code for further help to resolve the situation. For a 0-30-1 fault code that continues, place the unit in gas test mode to check the output gas pressure from the PowerMax system. To access the gas test mode, open the service screen by holding down the automatic manual pressure setting mode selector and the current gas selector buttons for two seconds. In the top left corner of the service screen, you'll find a blinking cursor. Move the cursor through the service screen by pressing the automatic manual pressure setting mode selector and the current gas selector buttons. Move the cursor so that it sits between the G and the zero on the second row. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise. The G0 will turn into a G1 and gas should start flowing from the torch. The actual pressure should be within 1 to 2 psi of the set pressure. If the pressure differs from the set pressure by more than 1 or 2 psi, check your supply input pressure to ensure your incoming gas pressure is correct. Set the G1 back to G0 and exit the service screen. If your gas test results and supply input pressure are both normal, then contact your hypertherm distributor or authorized repair facility for assistance. This concludes our video on the PowerMax 0-30 error code. For more videos, please log on to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute.